Hi, I'm Moses. I'm a medical scientist and uh, I'm responsible for 70-20% of medical diagnosis out there. Today we are going to talk about this organism here. We call it Nairobi fly, Naro bee fly, whatever the name. There's no official name. You can as well give it your own name so long as you are referring to something we all know. Now, this organism is famous for whatever it's good for. It usually burns your skin in case you crush it on your skin. It has a um, chemical called pederin, which in case you crush it and that fluid comes into contact with your skin, it's going to burn it. Most of the affected regions will be your neck and the leg, and I have a theory. Now, in case maybe you're working on the ground, it crawls all the way up, and you're wearing something like a trouser or anything. The first thing that's going to come into contact with it will be your legs, the skin of your legs. Now, maybe you might be wearing something like a trouser, and in case maybe it goes under the trouser, it will be on your skin. You'll feel that there's something walking on your leg, and then you saw a pen to like crush it inside your skin, inside your legs. So you are going to like make that hemolymph, which usually has something called a pederin, the one that you've talked about, that will cause skin burning. You crush it on your on your legs, and that's what's going to happen. Also, if someone so happened to like wear the same uh, trouser that you are wearing, and it still has the same chemical, that person is going to have the same burn, and that's why sometimes you might find people, especially who share clothes, getting the same burn from. They, they might feel that that's an infection. It's not an infection. It's only that that, that toxin was carried in cloth and then deposited to the other person. The reason why also the neck is one of the regions which, really is, which is usually mostly affected is the fact that uh, suppose it was crawling on you and then instead of now getting under your trouser, it goes on top of it. Now it will walk, 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 walk all the way. It will crawl all the way. Now there's nothing uh, maybe covering your neck. So once it comes to like a point, like this point here, it want to like go all the way up, so it will come into contact with your skin here. So what happens? You feel that there's something crawling there before you even think of now blowing or maybe shaking it away. You're going to kill it from that point. So that's why you're going to get something like this, which look bad anyway. So in case maybe you have or you so happen to feel that this. I have crushed that thing on my skin. What you're supposed to do, just don't worry, just wash the area with plenty of water and uh, hope for the best. In case maybe you have complications, you can see you're a dermatologist. Or in case maybe it's your eye, you so happen to like touch your eyes with the fluid from that organism, consult your ophthalmologist, yeah, and uh, you're going to have everything um, sorted. So the condition uh, that the skin burning might last for two to three weeks, it usually disappear. In case you are light skinned, mm -hmm. you might have a scar which might persist for quite a long time. But if you are dark skinned, like, oh, not me, I'm not dark skinned. If you're dark skinned, yeah, that might disappear immediately after that. So, yeah. Blow it away. So the best thing for you to do, if you see it on your skin, blow it away. Just don't crush it on your skin and don't kill it. Anyway, let's see in the next one.